guys, this is Joanna for The Verge, and I'm wishing I was a student today because Apple just released the new iBooks 2, which is basically centered around textbooks, and they've come up with some really interesting ways to present textbooks to students. Um, so let's dive in here. So this is Life on Earth, one of the textbooks that Apple demoed today, and I'll turn down the volume here. Um, but so it starts off with this really nice video of the author sort of introing the book. And so you've got the video over here, and then you can swipe right into the textbook. You've got a bunch of chapters here. Um, and when you want to get into the chapter, you just select one of the pages, and uh, you've got a pretty nice textbook experience. And so when you rotate it this way, you go up and down. Um, but I prefer the landscape orientation for going through some of these books, even though you get less text on the page. Um, so you have interactive features throughout this book, which is pretty cool. Um, select different things and can zoom in on this and pop up. You've got some videos throughout. Let's see if this one works. And then it's going to tell you what's going on in each of these videos. So that's pretty neat. Um, in terms of actual text, there's some neat tricks there. You can see here before I was underlining. Um, let's try and do that on another page with some more text. So let's say come in here, I can highlight this whole paragraph. There we go, can change the color. Can also make a note right here. Very important. Or very important. And so I'm in there. And so you can do that throughout the book. And then when you actually jump out, oh, jump back, you can always pinch in to go to the general menu. When you jump out and go to your notes up here, you'll see that the parts you've clipped all come up here with the notes right under it. So that's a pretty handy tool. You can also go in here to your study cards, and that puts some of those notes on the study cards, but they also give you, where are those? So here they are. So the glossary terms. So you flip this over, and you've got definitions and whatnot. So pretty uh, nice tools there. Um, one other thing I wanted to show in the books, let's see if I can go back is that at the end of some chapters, there are some um, Q&A and questions, some test taking stuff. Let's see if I can find that here. There we go. Yep, here we go. Um, so which one of these is a Savannah? Mm, I'm going to go with this one. It looks like I was right, as always. Um, so that is the science textbook here, and I'll take you back out to an algebra textbook, which isn't as interesting, uh, doesn't have as many videos or uh, interactive features. You can kind of tell that here they just layered some stuff on top. Um, so you got basic equations and practice samples, and uh, what you really get here is you can click here and there's some test taking tips. That's kind of neat. Uh, other than that, not much else you can do in terms of interaction in the Algebra app. So overall, that's a look here at iBooks 2. Hoping to see more of these sort of interactive textbooks, and there are tons to look at, uh, but these are just some of the samples.